Okay, to continue with my wonderful box of goodies from Julie Mangold. Some pages from a not vintage, modern children's book, but these are so pretty. I love the colors. I've been thinking about doing a pink junk journal because pink is my favorite color, and these would be perfect in there. 1970 Sears catalog. I haven't even had a chance to really look through these pages because, as I said, I was sick when the box came. So I am going to sit down today and go through these pages along with the magazine pages I'm going to show you. I, we used to get the Sears catalog. Probably every home in America used to get the Sears catalog, and I used to pour over that book. So uh, I was a teenager in 1970, um, probably 13. 12 or 13. So I'm going to have fun looking at that. Pages from a 1965 Seventeen magazine. And, and Seventeen magazine used to be much bigger than it is now. So this will really be fun to look through. There's quite a few pages from that magazine here. And that's, uh, what did I say? 1965. This is um, not a vintage magazine. 2008. But I love... Um, the royalty type of magazines and this one is called Realm it's from England so I'll have a lot of fun looking through that too can't wait children's activities 1942 for home and school lots of good illustrations activities working for our country This is a lot of fun. Um, this can't be too old because it has a website listed at the bottom. I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's a gardening catalog. But I like the illustrations and it is going to be fun to include in a junk journal. This is from Vintage Ladies Home Journal. 1912. Look at those shoes. It says, do this. You will never forget the experience. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Beautiful images. This is fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. And she sent me the music magazine, the Etude. And it's from May 1929. Look at that. I'm going to put this on my piano and play some of this stuff. Beautiful. Can't wait. Then the little tidbits. Uh, I have them separated into vintage and non-vintage, if I got it right. So here's the non-vintage. This is a piece of textured, like a natural type of paper with all kinds of fibers in it. I love using this stuff. Some Tim, Tim Holtz Ancestor cards. Absolutely love these. I like to use them. These are leather label holders. They're fantastic. I've never seen those. Some fun tickets. They look different from other tickets that I've seen, so that'll be great. I like the back. There's lines on the back. And in this cute little sack with clocks on it are some game pieces, or they're um, actually playing cards, round playing cards. That'll be fun. Um, calendar pages with Coke advertisement. That's fantastic. I love those. Oh, there's more. Vermont Coffee Company and a coaster. And here's another gorgeous bag with some die cut pieces and they have glitter on them. A clock, a bird cage, a chair, and then some without glitter. Different. Are they punch outs? Yeah, they're punch outs. How fun are they? You know, they kind of match that one merchant, that one bag she gave me. I can find it real quick. I lost my pile of bags. Oh well. Oh, here it is. I bet they are from the same company. 
Come on. Fun, fun, fun. This is a gorgeous calendar picture. And this is from a place in Iowa, American Gothic House Center. Isn't that fun? That's where this painting was done. And there's information about it here. I love that. I love this. Some uh, Mad Libs sheets. I like to play Mad Libs. I think this is from 1976, so that they're kind of vintage. Some dog and cat stamps. This cute bo border with a little fence. These are some pressed flower stickers that were made to look like butterflies. That's fun. A couple of interesting looking tags. And some cards that look vintage, but I don't believe are. Uh, that well, that's just a little tag. These are cards that open. A cat. This gorgeous purse. And this compact. They're a lot of fun. Oh, and this handkerchief, too. I love these. And there's some embossed detail on each of those. A couple of little um, cutouts. United Airlines advertisement. Some muslin pieces that... Uh, Used to be able to get at Michael's. I haven't seen them there anymore. I don't think I've seen these, so I like these. I use those. I, I will use them. And this is a little card. They come with an envelope, so you send them as a card. But it's a library pocket, and it's a thank you note. <laughs> How fun. I really like that. And another cutout. And this advertisement for vitamins for dogs. And then the vintage pieces. Oh, what am I doing? I started piling the non-vintage on top of the vintage. Okay. Vintage pieces. These fun little, you know, I have my shades open and I wonder if that's causing a problem here. I hope you can see this video. These are wonderful little horse car or er, horse uh, animal cards. They're they're quite thick. And I think there's four of them here. Yeah. I love them. Some vintage rook cards. Look at that. And some vintage playing cards. I have voted today and some vintage photos. This says Tandy's Studios, Broadway, Lincoln, Illinois. And these must be, oh, these are from a bingo for the bingo caller. They're fun. Love them. And I love these. Some of these things I'll have to make copies of and not use the originals. Some wonderful flashcards. There's that one with um, math on it and then some word, word cards. Some more vintage card gaming cards. I don't know. It says Trail. I don't know if that's the name of the game. I hope I don't have to make this video over again with my curtains closed. <laughs> I'll have to check it out. But these are really neat. And I love these. I've been wanting some of these reels. I used to, we used to have these when I was a kid. And uh, I, I think they still make them, but I wish I had the ones we had when I was a kid. Um, the Log House in Iowa. This is probably not vintage, but it's a tablet. I think it says 19, well, it says 1968, 48 to 68 on there. Uh, anyway, it looks like a little hand-sketched log cabin there, and there's several pages of that. This is looks like it's from a 
a game, a book of games for a bridal shower or something. They're fun. And a couple of postage labels. These are vintage. I love them. And a receipt for rent. And this. I uh, don't know how old this is, but it looks pretty old. And there's two of them. Looks like another receipt book. So, that's a lot of stuff she sent me all the way from Iowa. And I thank you so much, Julie. This was so much fun, and I can't wait to start using it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.